Okay, can you hear me? Can you see me? Let me see if I can bring David on. Let's see. Okay, I'm not quite sure how much battery I have left. Finish. But yeah, I was I was saying another time another time I will I will share, you know, what what have been my greatest lessons and uh, what are the pitfalls of a regenerative lifestyle. And, and at the same time, you know, my biggest interest in this, at this stage of, of my life and healing journey is to really bridge together, to, to form a bridge for, um, hi, David, sorry, I don't know what happened there. It might have been my Wi-Fi. It happens. It happens. It happens. So I've got, I've got like, you know, just a little bit of, of battery left and I was saying, will announce a live where we are going to talk about the pitfalls of uh, this lifestyle of fasting and raw food and fruit fasting and so forth. And, and, you know, I was saying my greatest interest on, on my, where I'm at currently is to form a bridge between the two kind of radical camps of fruit fasting, fasting, dry fasting, you know, that camp versus the keto paleo camp. And at the same time, and over here somewhere, you know, we've got the biohackers and I've opened myself up to everything and to and, and and over here we've got you know the spiritualists that you know figure well as long as I'm shooting myself off to God you know I'm going to be fine, and and for me it's like well where where is the truth? The truth is in the middle. And the truth is finding the golden path that matches your individual destiny, because you know for myself eventually what I realize is well all these beautiful ideologies mean nothing if I don't have the energy and the capacity and the stability to live my destiny because my destiny is my health. It's why I'm here. So, you know, that for me is where it's, it's, it's where I'm at and what I'm interested in, in sharing with people. And so we'll announce a live where I can share my pitfalls and you can share yours and, you know, we can educate others about what is the golden path. Very good. Very good. It's really very important. And uh, transparency is important. Uh, when we uh, have a posture like I did it and uh, without flaw mm -hmm. uh, and you know, I, I don't have those problems type of attitude or I never did have those type of problems. That's just not real because everybody has problems and everybody struggles. Everybody has wounds. And you know, people want to know, do you understand me? I get it. I was there. I felt it. I know the struggle. This is really an important way of being able to teach people, as you know, uh, to identify with them because, yeah, oh, yeah, I was in that dark corner once. Oh, yes, I felt hopeless. I felt abandoned. Oh, yes. You know, I opened up the refrigerator and, you know, 30 minutes later I was on the couch because I ate so much, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I understand what it means to love and not be loved. I, I hear you, you know. Mm -hmm. This is why we can talk. Yeah. Because we've been there. And, uh, but being there is part of it. And then people want to know, okay, how do you get out of there and move forward into stability? Mm -hmm. How can I have a life of continuity, a life of wholeness, where it's not a yo-yo anymore. It's not up and down. I ride the wave and crash three days later, mm -hmm. four months later. How can I be steady in my life journey of inner sanctity and the feeling that I'm alive mm. 
and I am living love. And my body is supporting all of that. But let us be wise also and to know, you know, as we have discussed, Alexandra, that we can be very, very idealistic. Um, but let us not be disappointed because we're not living in an ideal world. Yeah, we're not. We're really not. So there's going to be moments, no matter how well you're doing, how far you've achieved, what height you've gone to, you're going to have moments. Mm-hmm. of difficulty because we are not in an ideal world ideal environment we are not supported sufficiently to maintain that peak moment you know it rains it's clear it thunders it's silent we have contrast so there's always going to be some contrast but the contrast is not love and depression acceptance and rejection that is not the contrast I'm talking about. But there's going to be a variation to which we must necessarily be able to embrace. Today, I'm just feeling a little down. Okay, I embrace that. Tomorrow, I feel exuberant. I embrace that. This is acceptable. I'm depressed. I don't want to live. That's not acceptable. That is not polarity, like love and hate. That's not polarity. That's called thesis and antithesis that's a direct contradiction Mm -hmm. you know beauty and ugly no that is not polarity of complementing factors Uh uh-uh so we need to we need to understand the contrast is normal and life extremes is not let us learn to solve extremes like what you're talking about with keto or paleo and then the other side but let us learn to understand the balance of contrast in life flow to flow with life to just live our destiny with with joy and beauty and full support on all levels you know and for me it's like yeah we can have it all but we need to be real about everything you know and then we can have it all so we'll share we'll share more about um yeah our our honest journey and what you can learn from that and why doing the work on a deep ground foundational level is really the only way to really truly heal your life instead of constantly being in this you know, up, down, up, down, and looking for the next thing and the next thing and the next thing is that's not, that's not living life. So I'm going to end it here because I'm pretty certain my battery is about to die. And I don't want to, I don't want to die on you. Thank so, you, Alexandra. I just want to, for whoever is listening and will listen, I just want to compliment you on the great work that you're doing. You know, like you said, I can look back over 50 years and, Uh, I've known a lot of teachers through the years, a lot of the pioneers, Patricia Bragg, Jensen, and um, Gary Nall, and even the business manager and prime student of Eric, Fred Hirsch. I knew a lot of the the great pioneers. Mm -hmm. And with that said, and so much that they've done, I think what you're doing is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. You know, you're really, you're taking on hard issues with a genuine, sincere, loving, insightful heart. And I'm just, I'm not just, you know, like blabbing out these words. You know, you and I have had many conversations, you know, Mm -hmm. and I can see that you are a genuine, real woman of concern, Mm -hmm. a real pioneer searching for truth and understanding. And I really, looking back, you know, I thought about this the other day, about you looking back over my 50 years journey that you are rare. And therefore, you really are an important woman to uh, create uh, a form for people to truly learn and to better their lives. So I just, I need, I need to say that to you because I've never really complimented you in all these lives. We've done many, right, for several months. Yes, you know? we have. And so it's important to people understand that my view after 50 years is that you are doing great work. Mm, thank you. Yeah. I and, appreciate and, that. And this must come from a great heart that you have. Mm, 
Thank you. And I'm so honored to yeah, be doing this work with you because I feel, you know, I've been, I've been asking for a male counterpart, you know, and somebody with the strong medical background. And yeah, I'm so delighted to be working with you because I feel we're such a powerful team. Yes. And just bringing out real information for people, you know, just and, and allowing big discernment. And at the same time to, you know, for people to realize we don't have to worry. We just have to see the truth and act upon that. And then we can live a beautiful life no matter what's going on out there because things are getting sorted, but only when we become real. That's right. That's that step is. one for us to be real and then to understand what it is we're looking at, what it is we're feeling what it is what is it and we understand it we are we've made a great beginning thank you david and you're thank welcome you all of you listening uh yeah we'll just we'll announce the the next one that we'll do properly so that you can join in and, and many others can where we'll share the lessons of our respective journeys sending you all our love speak soon bye everyone